The King Believes in People, How a Budding Artist Ended Up on Tour with Charles and Camilla. Greetings from Royal Family Olid on my channel. In his own special style, Philip Butop describes how he was assigned to document the royal family's trip to Kenya. Typically, royal excursions are an erratic flurry of activities and pressed crowds, with every vibrant moment captured on camera and immediately shared on social media, television, and news websites. However, the 74-year-old king continues a practice he started around 20 years ago to document his professional travels in a way that goes beyond photography, even in the face of the constant onslaught of photos. On every visit, Charles pays for a budding artist to accompany the royal party and capture the vistas and landscapes in their own unique way. He was accompanied in Kenya last week by 42-year-old Philip Buta, who was entrusted with documenting the tour and the nation in his own special style. He brought with him a sketch pad, a graphite pencil, and a camera. Colchester resident Buta agreed that the here and now was reflected in the thousands of photos and videos that were shot during the tour. However, he insisted that people still want to see that magic and expressed his fascination with the way art fits into that universe. The public want to see work like this, to see that someone has taken the time to sit down and draw something, even if it's a still from nature, he said in an interview with The Telegraph. Life slows down there, allowing you to take the time to appreciate something. Over the course of the week, his approach to the tour of Nairobi and Mombasa evolved, Influenced by the king and queen's contacts with local populations, this tour has changed my original idea of what I wanted to do, so I'm looking more towards landscapes and things like that, he stated. I had intended to concentrate more on his majesty and her majesty, but my attention has been drawn more to the lovely people of Kenya. Every tour performer has a unique strategy. Some opt to meticulously adhere to the timetable, while others hardly follow it at all, spending their time painting the nearby scenery. Thank you, please share my video. According to a palace source, it's about capturing the country at a particular moment in time. The king has no say or control over the artist's work beyond selecting them, who is typically a young artist rather than a well-known figure. In addition to the Rembrandts, Correggios, and Canalettos in the royal collection, he usually waits until the pieces are completed at home before selecting one or two for the collection. He may schedule some time to talk with the artist about their work and peruse some early sketches. As a passionate watercolorist, Warwick Fuller was selected multiple times to be Charles' official tour artist during his journeys to Australia. According to Fuller, the king understands the difference between the cold, hard facts of a photograph and an interpretation through the eyes of an artist. James Hartdyke, who traveled with Charles on four royal tours from 1998 to 2008, has talked about how tiring the fast-paced, non-stop barrage of visual noise on a tour can be. However, he claimed the touring musician has a unique vantage point. When he visited Mount Everest for the first time in 1998 while on his first royal tour of East Asia, it ignited a lifelong love with painting mountains. In a similar vein, Vuta was motivated by African scenery last week. He remarked, I'd love to go back to Africa. I believe I wish to visit this location annually. It truly is lovely. Raised in East London, Vuta initially caught the king's eye at the age of 14 when he joined a Prince's Trust competition for young artists. He submitted a self-portrait despite the Prince of Wales Young Artists Award only accepting entries from those who were 16 years of age or older, and as a result he won the competition's youngest prize. Charles was asked to a palace reception with his mother because of how much his work impressed him. Buda continued on to Central Street Martins to study fine painting. Later, he wrote a letter to the prince of that year, requesting a seat, stating that he enjoyed drawing the people who had had an influence on his life. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. After a year, nothing was spoken. The young artist was then abruptly contacted by Clarence House, who instructed him to schedule six appointments with Charles between 2008 and 2009. The parents of musician Ed Sheeran, John and Imogen Sheeran, were the ones who organized the first Prince's Trust painting competition. The duo served as mentors to Buta, who developed a close friendship with their son and later drew a portrait of the singer for the cover of his album, plus in 2011. Buta carried on with his work, co-writing a book with Sheeran, but he contacted Buckingham Palace close to the coronation, inquiring as to whether he may be chosen to do the official pictures. 
A few months later, the team asked him whether he would like to travel to Kenya to live with the king and queen, even though that employment had already ended. In an effort to avoid being excessively affected, he tried not to look at much of the prior body of work, but he did read some descriptions of earlier tour artists. I'll really look at everything when I get home and go from there, he declared. I'll produce as many as I can. When he gets back home, his mother, a retired nurse, and his older sister will be the first to demand a thorough debrief. He smiled. They have been more excited than I have been. I get so many texts and phone calls asking what's going on and what's happening. Throughout his career, the king has been a recurring theme. He remarked, I feel very honored and indebted in that way, and I will always have that respect and humility for this opportunity. The experience has been amazing. Each day has been unique and it has greatly expanded my creative horizons. My focus is on creating some amazing oil paintings. It's also significant that the king chose to support aspiring artists. He stated it demonstrates that the king and queen believe in people. It's all about the work and their faith in you as an artist, and I don't think it matters to them if you're well-established or not. The fact is, they are not required to do that. The king was thrilled that Buta could take the tour, according to a court source. The source declared, he's been an absolute delight. He has been incredibly composed, humorous, and delightful to be around, and we are all excited about the work that will come out of it.